Hello, welcome to my channel. I'm here to do my 100 Lico challenge. Today we have Lico A46, hands of strays. And if you're here for question Lico 1296, divide array in sets of k consecutive numbers. And this question will be the same. And just by the fact that I'm showing this screen of this question, Actually, you can just copy the same code to solve the other one by passing all the test case. Now I'm going to talk about this question. Alex has a hands of cards, giving us an array of integers. Now she wants to rearrange the cards into groups so that each group is in size W. And it consists of W consecutive cards. So return true if and only if she can. Let's take a look at example. Now in hands here, we have one, two, three, this whole array. And we want to arrange in three of groups. Now we can arrange one, two, three in here, two, three, four in the second pair, not pair, so group, and then seven, six, eight, to the third group. So the arrangement is good. So we return true. But another example in here, I want to make everything in group of four. Now we can take a consecutive one, two, three, four, but we have five left that we cannot make five to a group of four. So we return false. I also have another example here. How we solve this one, we first make it, um, make the original array. If this is original array, and then we will make it sorted. I mean, put every single integer in the priority queue. So in the priority queue, we looks like this after sorting it in the priority queue. Now what we do is first we pop out this one get the first element from the priority queue. And now we know one is here. If I'm getting the integer to arrange in group of four, now we want to do is from one, next we need three more number. They will get two, three and four. Now we delete two in here, in this priority queue delete three from this priority queue. After that, we did four by, from this priority queue. And now priority queue looks like this. And now one is already popped out. So we just gone from this priority queue. So since this priority queue is still not empty, we'll pop out the same. We do the same thing, pop out one and loop through until we reach four number. So we pop, keep popping out two, pop out three, and pop out four, and and check if the priority queue is empty. So it's empty, then it's true. Return true. If in that case, um, let's take a look. In the case of having, if this is the input, after we pop out one, two, three, four for the first operation. So, and then we, second operation, we pop out one, but we need to loop three more time. And now we're looking for four. I mean, pop out two, pop out three. We're trying to pop out four in the priority queue, but we can then at that case, we also return false. So let's take a look at the code. Now we have pi already q. Um, we have integer pq equal to new pi already q. Ouch. Now we have the priority queue set up. 
what we do, priority queue or will default by sort sorting the number from small to big. And we have a for loop making every integer in hand array and to the priority queue. Now in priority queue will be sorted. Small number will be taken out as soon as possible, the first place. So now we check if priority queue is not empty. While it's not empty, we'll pop out the first element, which is priority um, integer current number. With dot pool, they use pool, then we use pool. Now it's current number, uh, for example, in that case, it's one. Now we need to for, make a for loop starting from the first element where they got it. So we have started the first one and loop through until i is less than w. And i is plus plus. So, and check if um, pq pq dot remove a uh, current right plus i that mean next number or next next number depends on the i if that turns out that we cannot remove then there's something wrong with this so we can make this uh, in the consecutive uh, arrangement so we return false otherwise it will be removed after this operation so this while loop is good if this while loop pass and then we just purely return true showing that it could be arranged by this condition. Let's take a look at the testing. So it passed, looks good. So it's cool. Um, that's it for this question. So if you have any question, please comment it below. Uh, or you can finish the other question going to this link and finish this question using the same method and it should pass all the test case. So otherwise, I will see you in the next video. Bye.